we got Yoshi. Bang playing Yoshi, most likely. Yeah, Bang is playing Yoshi. And Marth coming from Aaron, right? Yeah, Aaron. Your mic isn't. Oh, <laughs> okay. There we go. There we go. All right, what's up, everybody? We're getting to game one of this winners round one between Aaron and Bang. Uh, as mentioned earlier, Bang's gonna be playing Yoshi. Of course, I think he's played Yoshi in the last time that we've seen on the stream as well. And of course, Aaron playing the Mars. Ooh. Nice down B. I think I might actually want to lower my mic just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, you're good. You're good, man. Ooh, okay, yeah, once again, Bang is just going for a lot. He's down B's passive platform, and Aaron not really quite respecting it. Oh, no! Oh, no, the SD. Ooh, yeah, you gotta be really careful using that side B. It's not like melee where you get the little bit of height uh, from it. Mm -hmm. And a stall slightly. Yeah. Ooh, the triple there? I've never seen that before. Is that true? No, it's not true. Okay. It's just like, he's just hitting buttons in his face right now, because um, more so it's working, of course. Yeah, Aaron not really... Aaron doesn't really believe in defensive options, it kind of looks like. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's kind of hard, you know, like, to understand, like, uh, you know, what to use them sometimes, but... Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna give Aaron just a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. But, right, he's running out a lot of these force matches trying to get something started, but they all keep getting the whiff, and the whiff punish. Nice forward kill. That was good forward kill, yeah. Now he just has to figure out how to get around these Yoshi uh, aerial approaches and down these. Honestly, if he stayed grounded a bit more and used his tilts, then I think that would work out a lot. Like, he's not shielding too much, but he can play around that by, like, moving and facing his moves. Because he has a sword, of course. For sure, for sure, yeah. Like, a lot of those tilts, like, especially the Mark IV tilt, is actually surprisingly good as an anti-air, because uh, the la latter part of the hurt box goes kind of, like, upwards a bit. Right. And anti-air slash, of course, <laughs> you all know how hard that is to deal with. Ooh, good counter though. He's finally um, using a little bit of uh, defensive options to regain tempo. But uh, ill advised dash tag is going to get punished by dash grab. Oh, dash tag extension. No tech. Garen might be killing a little bit of stream nerves right now. Ooh, okay, four throw? I think Bank just kind of just decided he can go for whatever option right now. And right. He has a commanding lead right now. There's no reason not to. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, the SDs are going to be causing error in that game, and game one is going to bang. Yo, what's up? I see you, Clippy, in chat. Oh my goodness. Wish you didn't have to leave so early as well, man. We'll see you when you come back, hopefully. Assuming you come back. Yo, honestly, we, we got to get you back up in here. That's what we got to do. Yo! Oh my goodness. Like, every single... We finally got Chub Chicken Sandwiches up here on our 11th Hour Coffee venue, and honestly, they have been absolutely killer so far. I was uh, talking with uh, Wesley earlier, and like... Oh, Wesley and uh, some of his friends, like, they were saying, like, every single one of them absolutely loves the sandwiches right now. Like, I don't think I've heard a single person complain about them. <laughs> like, everything, like, the sandwiches, the fries, they've all been super good. And I kind of wish I didn't have a late lunch so I could buy into some of those because, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I had some Taco Bell right before this, so I might get some later, support the guys here. But oh, we'll yeah. see how I'm feeling. Bro, I honestly might just buy some fries just so I can take them home yeah, with me. <laughs> fries are definitely good. Oh, yeah. They close at 9? Oh, they close at okay. 9. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. Good, good. Thank you, Warren. Warren coming in with the clutch info right now. And it looks like uh, Aaron's actually going to be going to Incineroar for game number two, switching up the characters and the stage a little bit to go to FD. I think he did like those platforms. And he probably wants to see if he can get a little bit more of that raw power from Incineroar, maybe make his options count a little bit more as they land hits and get percent. See a little more patience coming out from Aaron right now. Actually has a lead, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, uh, well, as soon as they say patience, he throws out a lot of those side Bs, but... It looks like Aaron is really just trying to make sure that his hits count for more because he wants to get some sort of offense going and kind of uh, challenge Bang a little bit more, which, you know, having that confidence to challenge your opponent is important. You can't right. really slow down and kind of, like, play to not lose in a lot of these games. Right, you gotta fight fire and fire. Indeed. And speaking of fire, we got a fire type in Cinema. I mean, freaking the heat right now, especially with the cross chop. That's the second. Oh, he almost got a third one. Okay. How's he gonna land? Oh, still keeping him in the air. Okay, he gets away with the up B. Honestly, Bang's only been able to challenge that up B once, and even then it was a trade, so I mean... Oh my goodness, the neutral B is looking like Zangief over oh, here. Here's the third. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, honestly, if he read that roll, that would have been pretty hype, but... Okay, Forder. Oh, does not get the extension, right. though, but does get a down B to cover his landy. That's not really something Aaron has been able to challenge, Ooh. but... Whoa! Oh, get the last hit. Yeah, unfortunately, wasn't able to launch Yoshi, but... Oh, tries to go for a hard read, does not quite get it. Okay, down air. Doesn't get the strong hit, so he's not. Oh, wait, is that it? Oh, he's lit it? 
<laughs> oh, he actually shielded the down beat. There's the adaptation coming through from Aaron. That's actually pretty sick. Nice. Now we see him. Go! Oh! I like that it. he's jumping away and drifting out more than like in the previous match. So yeah. he's definitely p picking more defensive choices. Oh Unfortunately, my! Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to make it back with that up. Yeah, so a pro tip for you and Cinemore players, uh, if you actually side B, you do not enter free fall stage. You can do a side B and still use your double jump and up B afterwards. So if yeah. you're trying to figure out how to recover from Cinemore, that would be one of them. And that down smash is going to be nasty. That's such a tricky move. I'm, I'm honestly, like, I've been hitting people those day one. Like, that is a hard move to deal with even now. Okay, a nice uh, meaty grab coming in from Bang, able to catch him on the wake up from ledge. Side B's. Honestly, a lot of these hits are starting to tack on a lot more percent than when he was playing with Mars, so I think this character call was actually good. Coming in from Aaron. Definitely making game two a lot closer. Good grab, able to read the roll and get a back throw off of it. Once again, keeps stage control. Uh, he's starting double to jump armor. Yeah, the double jump armor has saved him twice right now, but to Aaron's credit, he has been reading Bang's movement a lot right. more right now. And he's been starting to track him so well, which is so important. Adapting to your opponent's movement like that is huge for game two. Oh, oh the Revenge? Oh, oh, down! <laughs> Yo, Incineroar. Oh, dead. and he got the stock off the Sour Spot down there. Yo, Incineroar looking like he's stomping in his Air Force Ones right now. Damn. Ooh, good up. Able to make it back with the cross chop. Honestly, Aaron's actually making this look really nice with Incineroar right now. And able to get up with the get up attack as well. Understanding Bang wants to keep on the offense. Ooh, doesn't quite get away from the down air, but is able to play again? with revenge again! Yo, yo, he's oh, and be 84! 84. <laughs> he's gonna show us, he's gonna hit the side beat, and it's gonna go out this time. Then. Oh, gosh. He's, he's been waiting, he's been conditioning. <laughs> oh, he's able to get away from the forward air. It's a good oh, offstage play. Can oh, oh, no, but unfortunately, yeah, just panic just a little bit too much. But honestly, when you're on stream, it's really hard not to. Right. You just gotta make sure that you keep cool as much as you can. Don't let it get to you too much. You still got a game to play, you still got one stock, and if you win this one, you will still have one more game, and a good forward smash on the opposite way, able to catch Bang, trying to go for it, you know, got him on the other side and avoid something, but Aaron with a nice read, actually, <laughs> really understanding where Bang wants to go with that one. I think he's got Bang a little bit shooken right now. Oh my goodness. All the tides have turned. Yeah, honestly, Aaron look Aaron looking like one of those chub chicken sandwiches right now. Or he's just, you know, he's being a little bit crispy. We definitely need the chub chicken sandwich. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get that chub chicken sandwich power up going for these players. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna be going to Hall of Bastion, and that is gonna be Bang's uh, counter pick stage. Now the question is, like, Aaron's probably gonna stick with Sinnoh, right? Mm -hmm. It just worked out for him so well game two. But then what's the adaptation going to be coming from Bang? Because your opponent was playing Marth game one, right? You kind of just slacked him. And now he's playing Incineroar game two, and he's starting to bring it back. Like, what are the adaptations you got to make here? Because Incineroar, if you're not careful, he's going to be flexing on you hard. Two, one, go! Out here on Disney. Yep, good old Disneyland. You got to get the Hall of Bastion ride. Okay, so Bang's Bang opening up with around 55% acquired through all these little stray hits. It looks like he's going for a more outboxer approach, but as soon as I say that, he kind of falls into Aaron's side beat. And his second side beat to boot, already 28%. I would 35. like to see a little more Egg, because I feel like he's spacing out that range where Egg would be perfect to use. Oh, okay, yeah, for sure, for sure. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that would be a really good option right there, but ooh, right now, Bang just kind of... Once again, just trying to bob and weave and just, you know, find his openings. Uh, but, oh no, Aaron just going to barely miss the ledge. He's going to be missing out on this first stock. And game three, you don't get another chance. Well, that kill percent. He drops one of those. That's smash. Oh. Or up smash. Oh. Ooh. He tried to meet him up there. Yeah, that was an interesting, like, idea at the very least. But, unfortunately, uh, Cross Shop doesn't really have that enough of an active hitbox going up to uh, challenge that. That down beat from Yoshi, you got to be a little bit patient around But a good revenge. Oh, he, wa he wants to end the stock right now. Oh, he's walking on him. Yo, <laughs> walking up slowly. Oh, I think he's trying to catch Bang on a defensive option, I think is what he's trying to do. But unfortunately, Bang playing a little bit too active right now. Doing too much in the air, not really letting Aaron get that opportunity. Oh, and Bang with a good grab, recognizing that Aaron wants to go for revenge now. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think Fang has a... Oh, okay, good draw shot to get back. Sage. And I, I, and I like that Aaron is going a little bit more from up smash. It's actually a really good anti-air option for Cinderoy, but oh no, unfortunately going to SD that stock. Fang is up two stocks now. Is he able to keep this lead? Grab is going to suggest so. And that, that back air has been so strong, but so is that side B. Not the kill, though. Oh, and you see Aaron really wanted to punish the oh, down no. there, but unfortunately he's going to miss the ledge and he's going to SD again as a result. And Bang is going to be taking that 2-1. We'll see you in loser bracket, Aaron. Maybe you can make another run or something. Yeah, that is going to be uh, first game for on stream for winners round one. And that really was just a story of just like, you made the right adaptation game two, but then get a little bit cold, for, cold feet game three. You know, and honestly it happens to the best of us. Like, it's really hard to play on stream. <laughs> Who's playing? I think it looks like...